to the library rules, we ask that all patrons, customers, uh, remain as quiet as possible for the duration of their stay, uh, for the fact that others may be studying or reading. Good. All right. <laughs> um, as, my name is Prudence, by the way, and I can help you with anything you need. Was there any books you were looking for? Wait, no, don't, don't go. I, 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 I would love to help you. Is there something you're looking for? Uh, a storybook? Um, a book on plants? A book about a certain place? Uh, if you're planning a vacation? Or a cookbook? Oh, you aren't really sure? Um, well, uh, what was the reason that brought you to the library? here today. Really? So, you'd like to become an adventurer? Wow, that's very cool. <laughs> I met an adventurer once. They came here. I helped them out as well. We found some spells. I sold them, or loaned them some items. I, I can help you, so what sort of class were you thinking of becoming? I know there are many books here about famous adventurers. I could find I could find one for you. Um, uh, there's a really, really interesting one I read the other day. It's a harrowing story. It's about a gentleman by the name of Sir Crinklebottom. I do recommend it. I can look at that one first. I'll show. No much reading? I see. Well, are you in a hurry? Because reading books is really fun, I recommend it. Okay, um, well then, what sort of things would you like to look up about all the different types of classes? But your potential. Oh! Well, that's very interesting. So, you'd like to look up what sort of things you could do at a uh, very powerful class. Okay. Yes, I have many things. Uh, ooh, anything specific? or mm, You wanted to look at spells, evocations, incantations. Yeah, we have plenty of those here that you can read about. Is it okay if I pick some out for you? I know all about 8th and ninth level spells. I practically grew up here in this library. I, I know where all the books are, and I can be very helpful. Oh, good. Okay. Sit right there. I'm going to grab some spells for you to look at. Okay. Be ready to have your mind blown. <laughs> Not literally. Okay, I need to make that very clear here. Not literally, because that is very possible. And we would not do that here. Blown with knowledge. <laughs> okay, uh, the book. So, this book is about the spell Foresight. Now, to use this spell, you must be a druid, 
a bard, warlock, or a wizard. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> you, t you touch a willing creature. You touch a willing creature and bestow a limited ability to see into the immediate future. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> For the duration, the target can't be surprised and has advantage on attack rolls. Um, ability checks and saving throws. Whoa. <laughs> Additionally, other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target for the duration. <gasps> wow. That is one powerful spell. Could you imagine being able to see into the future? <laughs> that is really fun. Wow. I could see into the future of all the different book returns that I'd be getting, and then I could prepare for the day and see what sort of customers were coming in, and then I'd know how to, I would have known how to help you <laughs> right off the bat. Okay, let's keep looking. Sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Okay, so for this spell, you will need to be a wizard. You create a 20 foot radius sphere of destructive gravitational force centered on a point you can see and range. Um, the space within 100 feet of it are difficult terrain and non magical objects fully inside the sphere are destroyed. It, oh my goodness. <clears throat> Creatures must make a strength saving throw or be pulled into the center. If a creature is reduced to zero hit points, the spell disintegrates it. Whoa. <laughs> That's a crazy one. You create gravitational pull on a spot and it disintegrates things. That's really scary. Uh, if you're looking for more destruction sort of spells, I suppose a wizard is a good option. Whew, my goodness. Let's, let's keep looking. Okay. This one is bound to be weird. Get it? <laughs> because the spell's name is weird. Okay, let's let's read it. <clears throat> this one is also a wizard spell. Um, of course, the wizard spells are in the same section, so you may see a few spells that are done by wizards here. Also, they can they can use a lot of spells. So, all right, <clears throat> weird. Drawing on the deepest fears of a group of creatures, you create illusory creatures in their minds, visible only to them. Each creature in thirty feet must make a Wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, a creature becomes frightened for the duration. The illusion calls on the creature's biggest fears, manifesting its worst nightmares as in, as a threat. Um, that's another rather interesting one. Really, if you think about it, it's quite interesting. Actually interesting. You're able to identify their greatest fears. And then you create that threat in their mind. And it gives them psychic damage. I'm really curious what everyone's greatest fears are. Of course, I'd never want to find out by using this spell. I would just ask them. But I am very curious. 
My greatest fear? Mm. Late book returns. I hate having to... I hate having to discipline her. I just... I generally avoid confrontation. So just a line of late book returns. Oh, that would be absolutely terrible for me. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's not think about that. Whew. Originally, uh, from a church, and this is just how they chose to find the book. It is Mass, Heal, let's take a look here, shall we? It's pretty straightforward, Mass, Heal. I assume a lot of healing goes on. Let's take a deeper look. Hmm. Alright. It is a cleric spell, so if you enjoy doing healing and helping others, this would be a good spell for you. A flood of healing energy flows into injured creatures around you. You restore up to 700 HP. 700 well, that could cure the whole town. My goodness. Divide it as you choose among creatures. Creatures healed by spells are also cured of all diseases and any effect making them blinded or deafened. Well, this spell could surely change a whole town. Wow. What incredible power. Hmm. I hope I made a cleric someday. Then I could ask them to cure all the wounds of all the townspeople here. I think that'd be nice. Oh. Okay, not that one. Okay, well, it would have been really interesting if you did like this one. store for us. Time stop. This spell is used by sorcerers and wizards. You briefly stop the flow of time for everyone but yourself. The power to stop time. My goodness. Oh. No time passes for other creatures. The spell ends if an action you use affects a creature other than you. The spell also ends if you move more than 1,000 feet from location. Imagine all the good you can do with a spell like that. You could stop time and stop bad guys. Wow. You could save all sorts of people with a spell like that. And just the idea that you would even be able to do that. It's almost godlike. Although I've never met anyone who's this powerful to be able to do a spell like this, so it makes sense that these are the top level spells. Even most of the heroes I read about, they don't do spells like this. Anyway, let's keep looking. I wonder what this one could be about. 
It is a spell that can be used by bards, druids, warlocks, wizards, and that's it. <laughs> you blast the mind of a creature that you can see within range. Attempting to shatter its intellect and personality, target takes psychic damage. On a failed save, the creature's intelligence and charisma become one. They cannot cast spells, activate magic items, understand language, or communicate in any intelligible way. They can, though, identify friends, follow them, and even protect them. Oh, okay, well, at least that last part's okay. I couldn't imagine taking away everything from someone that makes them human. How evil. You wouldn't want spells like that, would you? It's taking you an awfully long time to answer that question. Maybe I shouldn't be asking questions that I don't want the answer to. Okay, let's move on. Next. This one's very fun. I've read about this one before. Called Storm of Vengeance. This one is a druid spell. All right, a churning storm. Sorry, a churning storm cloud forms, centered on a point you can see, and spreading to a radius of 360 feet. Lightning flashes in the area, thunder booms, and strong winds roar. Each round you concentrate, uh, it produces additional effects. Round two, acid rains from the cloud. Round three, you call six lightning bolts from the clouds, striking six different creatures and objects. Round four, hailstones rain down from the clouds. And, of course, round five through ten, gusts and freezing rain assail the area from the clouds. Area becomes difficult terrain and heavily obscured. Isn't that fun? the weather with this spell. As a druid, you are one with nature. Wouldn't that be fun? Hmm. You aren't sure if it's for you. Well, it's an option. <laughs> I have a few more that I'm going to show you, and then you can decide. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information. Them before and I don't really understand them that much, how it could even be possible. But this one is Gate. So, with this one, you could be a cleric a sorcerer, or a wizard. You can conjure a portal, linking an unoccupied space you can see within range to a precise location on a different plane of existence. Well, you can orient it in any direction you choose. Travel through the portal uh, is possible only by moving through its front. Anything that does so is instantly transported to the other plane, appearing in the unoccupied space nearest the portal. When you cast the spell, you can speak the name of a specific creature. If the creature is on a plane other than the one you're on, the portal opens in the named 
creature's immediate vicinity and draws the creature through it to the nearest unoccupied space on your side. That one is interesting, huh? Oh, the creatures. I don't believe that they will do what you say. Uh, let me see. There's a possibility that they could do your bidding after you... From what I'm seeing here, once they arrive, um, I'm reading that no, uh, they can attack you or help you or you could strike a deal with them, but they won't do what you say. You have to be careful because you may be able to summon something like that. My goodness. But the idea that you could even summon something from a different plane of existence, like heaven and hell, if you're powerful enough. I don't know. I don't know if anyone could be powerful enough for that. I'm sure you could. You know, when, once you've gotten to that point, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Ah, uh, the last spell, yes. All right. This one is very fun. Wish. sorcerer or wizard spell. Wish is the mightiest spell a mortal creature can cast. By simply speaking aloud, you can alter the very foundation of reality in accord with your desires. The basic use of this spell is to duplicate any other spell of eighth or lower. Alternatively, you can create one object up to 25,000 gold in value that isn't a magical item. You can allow up to 20 creatures that you can see to regain all hit points and you end all effects on them. You grant up to 10 creatures that you can see resistance to damage, uh, to any damage type you use. Um, um, you undo a single recent event by forging a reroll of forcing a reroll of any roll made within the last round. Reality reshapes itself. Could you even imagine the ability to reshape? I feel like no one should have that sort of power. Or no one should be able to have that sort of power. Mm. Oh, I'm just thinking about what sort of things I would wish for. I don't think I'd want to change anything in my life. I really like what I do here at the library. Adventuring sounds a lot of fun, and I love hearing about all the other stories that, you know, that everyone's been on, and I love reading about dragons and things, but yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I really like it here at the library. Mm. So, what do you think? I know a lot of those spells were wizard and sorcerer spells, we haven't actually even gotten to any of the sorts of classes that don't generally use spells, like barbarians, and fighters, and rangers, and monks. I do have books on those as well, on their different fighting styles, and I can look those up if you... Oh. 
taking too long. I see. Um, I know, just the thing. I've heard that many individuals choose their class based on their background. Yes. So, what's your tragic background story? Well, adventurers have tragic background stories. How they grew up, it, it shapes them into who they are. So, were you, let me guess, were you raised in a church or a cult? Or were you raised by a powerful sorcerer um, and taught you everything you know? No? Okay. Um, maybe you grew up on the streets. Or you grew up on the seven seas. Or you grew up in the woods, raised by wolves. You grew up in a palace, didn't you? No. Oh. Well, if you ask me, I think that's the best way to grow up. Having parents who love you and are very much alive, ready to give you hugs and kisses as soon as you come in the door. I think that's way better than any tragic backstory. What? You want a tragic backstory? Well, I, I'm i not sure I can do anything for you. I don't, we don't rent out tragic backstories. I erase your memory. Oh, I, I don't know how to do, I'm not a magic user. I couldn't do such a thing. Plus, I, I wouldn't want to get rid of all your memories. That's not very nice. Oh, you do make a good point. Then I could be a part of your tragic backstory. Then they'd write about me in books when you get famous. It all started here, in the library of Wiltshire, when they met a tiefling named Prudence. Okay, all right. I have read several books on the spell Hypnotic Pattern. I think I could try to recreate that. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. I have this feather. I need you to focus on the feather, all right? Focus on the feather. I'm going to put this feather
used the wrong object. I know, I know. Listen to what I have to say. Your eyes are getting heavy as you watch it. you and the watch. Time stops all around you. Everything stops. There's no outside world. There's no stresses. Nothing. Just the watch. You forget everything. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Concentrate on the nothing. you've forgotten everything or do you still remember that you have parents that are very much alive and love you? Oh, dang it. I th I'm so sorry I messed that up. Now I have to do it all over again. Oh, <laughs> that makes me feel better. It never worked. Oh, well, I tried. I guess you do need to have some sort of magical abilities for the spell to work. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more to help, but you know what? Maybe it's not about the tragic backstory, but about the tragedy along the way. Yes, the tragedy that you find along the way, right? It's truly what matters. <laughs> so, 
maybe instead of finding out now, you can go on your journey, and then you'll find out who you are meant to be while you were on your journey. Um, maybe you'll find your mentor along the way that will teach you everything they know. Let fate decide what you'll, what class you'll be. You have so much potential, you could go any way. That's such a gift. So, maybe life will make that decision for you. All you need to do is go on your adventure. Um, just choose a place to go and then go to it. Oh, I like that attitude. Good for you. Oh, um, before you go though, do you have any supplies by chance? No. You were about to go on an adventure without any supplies? Silly. Lucky for you, here at the library, we loan out many different types of supplies. We actually have packs that we put together for adventures like you. Mm -hmm. They are loaned though, they are not bought, so you will have to return. Yes, otherwise you would have to pay a late fee. I don't want to have to make you pay a late fee. How about it? Good. Okay, let me see what I have. I may have some adventures packs around here. That's a very standard pack, and I think it'll work well for you. Okay. Here we have. Standard Adventures Pack. Adventures Pack. It is made of the finest ochre leather you can find. There are two bags here. And it is fastened on a belt. You're right, it is a little bit small. Um, I might have something bigger actually. This is definitely a lot bigger. It's made out of a similar um, uh, leather material. There's a suede here at the top. It's very soft. At the bottom, it's more rough for when you have to set it on the ground. buckles and the clasp right here on the back there are two straps that can be used so that it can be worn like a for you. Now you won't find
find any items in it just yet. We used to have fully outfitted packs, but unfortunately, we loaned too many out. Over the years, yes, it turns out not many adventurers return their packs. It's a shame we used to have all sorts of different packs. Scholar's pack. Healer's pack. Anyway, no use looking back at it. It is what it is. And so we're going to have to put one together with what we have. So there may be a few items missing. You will have to find those along the way. It'll be part of your adventure. So... First things first, we have candles. These will definitely be needed to light the way in the darkness. You're going to need matches though. Be able to light them. You'll be able to find that right. Sadly, we have no matches here. Oh, uh, currently we have a sorcerer that you just uses uh, fire spells, lights all the candles in the library. Yeah, it's very lovely. I'm jealous. I wish I could do that. So there's those for you. Um, next, we have hemp rope. This is useful for a mini adventure things, um, tying things, um, I haven't really been on an adventure, so I don't know what it is you would tie, but I do know that it's useful, because many adventurers have asked for them. Even non-adventurers do like to come here, like sailors, and they get some rope. It's just very, basically, uh, something that is useful. So, yeah. Put this in your bag. Along with the rope, there is a net. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Remnant. Sorry, we'll put this with the rope. <laughs> That's how I assume you would be catching your um, meals for the night. Oof, that was a dusty net. <laughs> Alright, next, an empty bottle. This is very useful. It can be used for a wide variety. sort of liquid you find along the way that you think is special. Or if you learn um, alchemy, you can make your own health potions or energy potions. Any sort of potion. You can even make soup and put it in here. There's a lot of different options. An empty bottle goes a long way. So this is very useful. I have a map of the area. Unfortunately, it's just of this area and the forest surrounding and the other cities. It will get you from here to another place, but not super far. you there. And then once you get to the next city, you can find another map. Perhaps you can ask the librarian there. They might know. Alright, 
There is your map. Don't forget to uh, return it though. We don't want any late fees. You know, this library is actually very, very wealthy. Yes, in late fees. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one has come back to pay their late fees, but once they do, which of course they will, because they are bound to it by, well, I suppose we didn't make any contracts, but by, they had, they, they said their word, and I know they'll be back. And they will pay their late fees. And then the library will be incredibly wealthy, and then we can upgrade and renovate. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. You must be very excited to go on your adventure. I don't want to be keeping you. I hope that I was of help to you today. I was. Really? You think that I would still be in a chapter of your book even though I couldn't erase your memory? Oh, thank you. That's good to hear. I help the adventurer start their adventure by inspiring them. By inspiring them. I can't wait to read about it. Uh, anyway, off you go. Don't forget to visit. Write, if you like. It's the address of the library. I can't wait to tell the other librarians. Oh, yes, okay. Bye-bye.